Mr. Prime Minister Djukanovic, my name is Stefan Rejcevic, your fellow citizen of Montenegro. 1991 was an important year for our country. You became the youngest ever Prime Minister in Europe, and our country declared the environment as a source of our health, culture and freedom. Our little country became the first ecological country in the world. We committed to its protection on behalf of future descendants in our Constitution of 1992, only two months before the Rio Conference. Our Constitution of 2007 declares Montenegro as a civil, democratic, ecological state of social justice. Montenegro has been pioneering in the adoption of regulation for the protection of the environment. However, the only actions taken since 1991 have been adoption of new regulations and strategies. They were used as a declaration of our ecological state of mind, yet never got support in our budget. 24 years later, the situation is pessimistic. Purest water from our spring became toxic. Rare arable land of our country is used to host megalomaniac factories, buildings and roads. Instead of building proper landfill, we use rivers and forests as dumping grounds and pretend those problems are non-existent. Mr. Prime Minister, the last decade has been megalo not only by the size of our constructions, but also by the effects of natural, natural catastrophes in our country. According to the National Hydrometeorological Association, droughts are drier than ever, followed by unexpected heavy rains. 2010 and 2013 brought us biggest floods and the summer of 2015 highest temperatures measured in our history. For the past 14 years, average temperature in our country has increased by 1.4 degrees Celsius and 0.6 degrees Celsius in the past 10 years alone. As a young citizen, I urge our country con to consider Paris summit as a turning point in our ecological history. Instead of wasting draft papers for new strategies, let's create a global budget which will protect the environment uh, and keep us out of the dangerously close plus 2 degrees Celsius zone and put young people to work on renewable sources of energy in the, instead of industrialization. Let our country live its constitutional identity.